Is it not because we are coming out of the COVID and so we, we are so much in the tight <clears throat> uh, which then doesn't create the room that you're talking about for a government to be able to maneuver and do other things. And just as you're answering that question, does that mean that even some of the projects as outlined in this year's budget, may, we may not see them uh, being executed, looking at the fact that you know, there's so much or there is non-existent, no room for us to maneuver, looking at the, the expenditure timetable vis-a-vis the revenues that are supposed to be coming in? Well, let me answer from two perspectives. <clears throat> Let's look at the pre-COVID situation. We started 2020. In the, 20, in the 2020 budget in November, saying that we were going to do to a deficit of 4.7% yep. of GDP. When COVID struck, we went to the IMF for the loan, 1 billion. What were the disclosures that we made to the IMF? We told the IMF we have a 6 percentage point gap, fiscal gap, yep. which had nothing to do with, fis- with COVID because IMS was looking to fill the gap, you know, that is created by COVID. And so we made a strict disclosure there. <clears throat> now, subsequent to which the COVID gap was calculated as 2.5%, take it 2.8%, take it 3%. I mean, considering that there had been shutdowns and other, you know, things. So let's speak it, let's be generous and make it 3%. If you add 3% to 4.7, <clears throat> you have 7 points, what, 7? Yeah. Let's say 8. By the time the media review was read, the deficit was increased to 11% excluding bailout costs and 13% excluding energy costs. Right? The media review gave the reasons, the reasons, for the increase from 4.7% to 13%, right? Yeah. One, the gap was created by wages of about four, additional wages of about uh, 400 and something million. A million that was brought on board, yeah. Interest payments, I think about 4 billion or something, Ghana cities. <clears throat> Bailout costs, right? It needs to mention. You can look at the adjustments that are in the media review. There's no mention of COVID. As the reason why we are moving from 4.7 to 11, why is there no mention of COVID? In that expenditure, is COVID, yes, but fully financed by the IMF loan, the The World Bank loan. What was the money taken from Bank of Ghana moving their um, uh, 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 free financing to 5% for? What do we use that money for? The borrowing. You go to the NPC statement. It's there. If you read the NPC statement carefully, I think it's important to read the NPC statement very carefully. And I'll give you another example. The NPC statement gave two reasons. They said government was finding it difficult to borrow. And if government were to go to the market in that condition, right, the cost of borrowing would be high. Please check the NPC statement. And so for the first time, in addition to the loan, COVID loan, in addition to all this we're talking about, in addition to ESLA, which was addressing the energy and, um, energy and bank bailout costs, right? we took 10 billion, which is approximately 1.7 billion you know, US dollars from Bank of Ghana, right? more than what we took from the IMF. It was to support government expenditure because there was no mention of COVID. 